In this tutorial in Severlink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can create a zoom transition between two clips when you don't find something in the transition room that does exactly what you want. I have this as a request from a subscriber. So I have two clips. Let's assume we're near the end of this first clip here where we're in Portland and we want to transition to the next clip which is in Dallas and we want to take the Portland clip and make it very small, have it shrink to the middle of the screen so it's invisible, and then have the Dallas clip begin as invisible in the middle of the screen and fill the whole screen. We can do all that pretty easily by using some keyframes. So let's get to the project. I'm going to click on my first clip, the one of Portland, double click on it and get into my PIP designer. And then I want to move my playhead to the very end of the clip. I'm going to set two keyframes. One for position, click the diamond, one for scale. And you see the two little red diamonds on my keyframe. I see I, I'm at 19 uh, seconds and 29 frames. Let me go back about a, uh, a second here. So we're 18, 29. And now I'm going to set two more keyframes. Okay, so here the position and scale is normal. I'm going to go to the very end, and now I want it to shrink to nothing, so all I need to do is make sure I'm on that last two pair of keyframes. I'm going to go ahead and move my uh, picture to the middle. And that's pretty good. Then I'll click on OK and that will save it. Now watch what happens when we begin to end our first clip. It's normal to the last second it shrinks to nothing. Now we'll do the same thing on the second clip only in reverse. We'll set a keyframe at the very beginning for position and scale and then we'll move in about a second here. Whatever you think it works in your particular case and set two more keyframes. We go back to the very first set of keyframes and then we're going to start uh, very, very small. So all I need to do is go ahead and take the mouse and position this about in the center of the very middle. I've put a grid on here to help me get the approximate location. I click on OK. And now as I move from one to the other, my first clip will shrink to nothing, my second clip will come out. Now, you notice it did it with a black background because I have nothing behind this. I deliberately put this on track number two, so if I want a different kind of background there, I'll click on my color board here. Let's say we want a um, white background. I'll take this and drag this to track number one and drop it there. And now, it's hiding behind my video, but when I do my shrinking and enlarging here, the background will instead be white. So you can put it any color you want to. Uh, you could put anything else there in that transition. And again, if you want the transition to be faster, all you need to do is click on uh, either clip and put the keyframes closer together. Move these over. Or if you want it longer, obviously, the farther apart, the slower the apparent motion. So that's a pretty simple way to do a, a zoom to nothing and a zoom out of nothing and making your own transition without a transition at all, but simply by using keyframes in CyberLink PowerDirector.